Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of the extended edition of Suicide Squad. So, I am not on board so far with the DCEU. The D, uh, what is it, the DC Expanded Universe, the film universe that they put together. Um, all three movies I've had major issues with. Uh, I felt like the stories weren't well told, um, that their story, the storytelling was inconsistent, uh, that there was a lot, a lot of uh, fluff in there that didn't, uh, didn't work towards the plot, and then there was stuff that was missing that really needed to be there to make the plot make sense. Um, Suicide Squad, of the three, which is Suicide Squad, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, is my favorite so far. However, I am not a huge fan. There was just element. I, the parts that I liked about it, I liked more than the parts I liked about the other two movies. Uh, I thought that, that Deadshot and Harley Quinn both were really good and had really good chemistry together, and really brought like brought the movie to life to a large degree. I personally liked Jared Leto's Joker. I know a lot of people didn't, but I did. I thought he was uh, interesting um, and compelling. Uh, I do understand the cri the criticism. But I do understand why. Well, a lot of people may not like him he's far from like the joker that you think of but i thought he was compelling and interesting um i liked captain boomerang which really surprised me because i he's a dude who throws a boomerang and he's a villain that's not necessarily something that really initially jumped out at me as being something that i would love but i i liked captain boomerang um and a lot of that was just because of uh, his characterization I thought was really on point and he was very entertaining. He provided a lot of the, uh, the comedy. Don't worry about the lighting. I just I for realized I forgot to turn on, so I figured I would. <laughs> he provided a lot of like the comedic moments. Um, he provided probably one of my favorite moments in it, uh, in, in the bar scene. I'm not going to... I'm going to try not to give too many spoilers at this point, but I will be giving some spoilers later. Um, overall, there was definitely certain points I liked. However, th there was a lot of points I did not care for. Uh, I really didn't like the fact that I felt... That, and this, these, these are all still criticisms I feel about the movie after watching the extended edition. I don't like the fact that a lot of the members of the Suicide Squad seem completely superfluous to the plot. Uh, it really made no difference. Um, it, with the, the, Some of them... like. Uh, spoilers: Killer Croc has something to do with a bomb that goes off at the end of the movie. That's integral, but that's pretty much that's the only re thing he does that's of any real note. Um, Katana's to me is just there. Could, could if she was gone, it would make absolutely no difference. Um, there, yeah, there's tons of these guys, tons of these people. Like really, the only integral people are uh, Rick Flag, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Diablo. The rest of the team are could be gone, and it would make no difference. I thought the character, the actor who played Rick Flag, who I've really liked in other movies, did a terrible job. His accent was really consistent. Uh, the character was really one note in the regular edition. Uh, in the extended cut, he was improved. Um, there was more uh, depth to his character given there was a reason to actually maybe not dislike him as much as i did in the original cut um but overall uh there like there's tons of things about the like the the storytelling uh, the story uh was was baffling in points in the in the regular edition and there's some of those things that are improved in the extended cut the extended cut is better than the theatrical cut and that's a problem. I know that some people are seem to think that that's that they're pointing to that as being like, well, Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad weren't that great in the theater, but their extended cuts, their definitive cuts, are much better, so they're good movies. I would I would say if if you think that that's good, I don't get it. I think that's terrible. That these extended cuts are and the director's cut are better because to me that speaks so loudly to the fact that this 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 studio is just messing this this whole thing up so so bad. I'm a Marvel fan. I've always been a Marvel fan. I've read way more Marvel books than DC books when I was growing up. But I still, like, I love the Dark Knight trilogy. Uh, I want these movies to be awesome. I want, like, the probably the best comic book movie of all time is probably the Dark Knight. And I can admit that freely. I want these movies to be good. Just because I'm a Marvel devotee doesn't mean that I have some prejudice against DC. I just think these are poorly made movies. I think the stories are way, way screwed up by this studio. Like, in both both um, the Batman v Superman and now Suicide Squad, there are moments that literally take like 30 seconds that were cut out of the movie that made all the difference in, in the world to either A, making the story actually make sense, 
um, spoiler, like when Amanda Waller shows, when it gets revealed that they're that they're in the the city to get Amanda Waller, the fact that that's set up earlier makes it so you're like, oh okay. But in the movie, when I saw the first movie, I was like, what what is going on here? What, what, why is she there? Like when she showed up out of nowhere, I was completely baffled. And I, everybody I know who saw the movie was too. And literally, there's like a 30 second scene that sets it up that makes it so that's not the case. And the fact that they didn't know to leave that in, and is just baffling to me like and like there's like you said the rick flags character like they there's a moment where that he actually speaks about why he likes the enchantress so much the Do dr june the, the the human that is being uh, overrun by the enchantress they actually makes it so you give a crap about those two and enchantress i think still i i still think is a terrible villain in this movie um i she makes no it makes no sense whatsoever that the suicide squad was able to withstand her ability she's way too powerful for that group of yokels to have been have been able to do anything to her like she's she like she's somebody who could have fought uh the like the cream of the crop in the DC universe, not Harley Quinn walking in with a baseball bat. Like, and like the still the very concept of this movie is just completely faulty to me. Like they set it up that they're, that they're putting together the suicide squad because if there's another Superman that comes uh, to the DCEU, they need to have a group of people who would be able to do something about it. But yet they have Harley Quinn there who literally is just a, a crazy woman who could fight a little bit and has a baseball bat or a, uh, like a, ha a mallet hammer thing. Like, what, did, what the hell is she going to do? Like, if she tried to go up and fight Superman, he would, like, and she'd be, like, across the room. Like, it's a joke. Uh, it's, that, that, it's poorly set up. Like, if they'd said it, and this Batman is still there. Like, they're like, oh, if another, Batman's the guy who took Superman on and got rid of Superman to a degree um, in the other movie. Maybe they don't know that, I, I guess. But he's still there, and he's still kicking ass. So, the, the, the whole setup is, is, to me, it just makes no sense whatsoever. It, it, like, I think the, the idea of the Suicide Squad is cool, and if they had set up, like, oh, there's these lower level villains in this area over here that they're showing clips of, then, then sure, awesome. That, but when they start being like, oh, but we need these people for another Superman, like, come on, that's just a joke. Like, who in this team could touch Superman? The only one is, if they kept the Enchantress on the team, yeah, maybe she could do something. Or, and Diablo might be able to do something. Probably not. And, and probably neither of them could actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. So the whole concept that they, use, that they used to set it up makes no sense. But back to my, back to my, my the main thrux of my argument that why the, the DCEU is really not going right is the fact that the studio is is messing it right up and i know that uh they've said that they're going to be uh that they're going to be kind of more hands-off now that jeff Loeb is in charge but i haven't seen any of those movies yet and then suicide squad came out after the terrible shit storm that came around batman v superman so and they still did not like they still could have had time to let the the this aesthetic cut come out at that time instead of letting a, a movie uh trailer production company edit the movie and they did they still let they still released this movie with integral moments cut out of it because they wanted the movie to be shorter so they could get in more viewings and they didn't want to cut any of the like big bombastic scenes that could have potentially been at least shortened in order to get moments in there that would make the story make sense and the characters be relatable and like for give you a reason to care for them other than just oh they could do these crazy things like they they story comes first like i know i'm a huge action movie fan i'm a huge comic book movie fan like i love all those like the, all those scenes like civil war to me is by far the best comic book movie this year and that scene where the the two sides uh go head to head in that airport is amazing but if it was just all of a sudden they dropped them in there and they were fighting for no reason and the story hadn't set that up well then it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been so great and that's what dc doesn't seem to understand so far i sincerely hope that they turn this thing around but i'm i'm not gonna just jump on the train that they're everything's gonna be great just because they brought jeff Loeb in until i actually see a movie come out that doesn't feel that way so that's good. that's my take on the extended edition of Suicide Squad. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it, and let me know what you think of the DC Extended Universe, or whatever it's called, uh, <laughs> as a whole. And please, please, please subscribe. I 
love, love, love getting new subscribers. It means so much to me. And have yourself a nice day.